Since 2009, Medicals Entertainment has been doing articulated action figures under the name Super Action Statue, which primarily consisted of characters from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. They have done a few one-shot characters such as Shinichi from Parasite, Shimaza Toyahisa from Drifters, and a little bit of Summer Wars, but now it's time for an actual lengthy toy line with Fist of the North Star, the manliest shounen manga and anime from the 1980s. This line is debuting with the main hero Kenshiro who's starting to hit stores since late February 2021, or March 2021. I got mine from Hobby Link Japan and with FedEx priority shipping, my total came to... $107.41. Yeah. And that's about the price you'll find everywhere else, or higher. And later this year, the villain Rao should also be in stock around May. Meanwhile, other characters have been confirmed such as Jaggy, Rei, and Salder. I don't know why Medicos didn't follow through with Toki to complete the Four Hokuto Brothers, but oh well. Nevertheless, Medicos is doing a lot more with the line than Storm Collectibles, who have teased the Fist of the North Star license since May 2018, and still have nothing to show for it. I'm still hoping they do something with the property, but for now, my focus is all on Medicos Entertainment. Here's what Ken looks like in the box, as most websites just show Kenshiro out of package. The product should come with this sticker to verify that it's not a bootleg, and the back shows you exactly what you're getting. Oh, and the inside flaps have these texts, but I don't know what it says. I'm guessing it's You're Already Dead and Hidebu. Unlike most toy reviews on YouTube, I want to start off with scale right off the bat. If you wanted to do some Jotaro and Kenshiro collaboration shots, well, they don't scale. Not just in height, but the proportions don't fit either. Admittedly, I never like how small Jotaro is, especially when he's using an old body mold from 2009. Mine's the 2012 version, the one that comes with the yare yare does it. In fact, the whole Jojo line's a bit iffy in their frames. So Kenshiro is around the 7 inch scale in terms of stature, but not so much in bulk. His head will appear small due to his muscular body but even his muscles don't pop out too much. When compared to other 7-inch toys such as Masters of the Universe classics, you can see Ken lacking some meat on his bones. More so when compared to Storm Collectibles, a brand known for its manly arcade fighters. I think Ken's height is right, but I just wish Medicos had a bit more beef. Even some 6-inch figures have bigger muscles than Ken. At the very least, the shading and paint make his veins and musculature more visible than other toys. On that note, Kenshiro is known for having 7 scars on his chest, only two or three are visible with a jacket on. So this means Medicos will one day have to make a shirtless variant. Getting back to sizes, it's no problem putting Ken against builder figures or even massive villains, because that's what happens in the anime. Kenshiro often deals with villains who are bigger than him, but this is the body that other men in the line are going to be using. And I wish their mass was a bit bigger. These characters are supposed to be manly men, and I don't know if that message is coming through, especially to people who don't know anything about this anime. For better or worse, these figures are the right size when compared to the supreme ruler of the apocalypse, Raul, who's probably 9 inches tall, but I'll know for sure when he gets here. Kenshiro is the 64 successor of Hokuto Shinkin, meaning he's an assassin who can kill people by striking pressure points. This can lead to a multitude of combos from controlling the enemy's body, or simply making them explode. Unfortunately, this toy version of the character doesn't come with any blood effects, when in previous releases by Rebel Tech, did have disposable henchmen made solely to be killed. Meanwhile, Storm Collectibles' Mortal Kombat line have made very creative violent accessories, and because of stuff like that and this, makes me continue wishing for Storm to release something for their Fist of the North Star license. Instead, I have a medical super action statue who comes with a display stand, seven alternate hands, an alternate screaming head, and two Hokuto Hyakuretsu Ken hands, or two of the 100 Fist Rush hands. It's when he does this. <laughs> Originally, I thought these effect pieces would be placed over Ken's hands, sort of like Guile's accessories, but it's actually meant to be plugged into the pegs. I remember struggling to put in the first time as the peg would move, but now it's easier to put on. The screaming head is meant to go with these hands, but you don't need to do that, it's up to your creativity. When switching heads, the screaming one doesn't make a sound when it's put in place. However, the regular head is only on correctly when it makes a pop. The extra hands are pretty easy to put in and off as they slide off, but do not slip when moving. In short, it doesn't fall off, okay? You have a karate chop hand, or better known as the Gundam, 
Or you could use it to slice things because Kenshiro is capable of doing that too. You have some martial arts posing hands for Ken to do different stances. There is a pointing finger hand so you can do the you're already dead pose. Or you can point it at someone and stop them in their tracks just like in the anime. <laughs> Kenshiro also comes with two closed fists for obvious reasons. Lastly is this purple fist which, like the blue hands, plugs into the peg. The purple effect punch is meant to go with Raoul's orange fist so they can both do this pose when their battle's about to end, but you can use it for any significant punch. There's also this display stand which can enter Kenjiro's back and it works fine. What's interesting is this stand isn't customized with the Fist of the North Star logo. The Jotaro stand has a personalized Jojo's Bizarre Adventure emblem, but Kenjiro's instead has the Medicals Entertainment symbol. Kenjiro has a great skull, but some of you might be wondering, What's with the right shoulder? Why is the shoulder pad on the side of his biceps and not on his deltoids? Well, Kenshiro has many wardrobe changes throughout the series, and his most well-known appearance is the two shoulder pad look. But in the case of this figure, Ken's outfit is seen specific to match Tarao's super action statue. In the anime, Kenshiro is known for constantly ripping his shirt and magically grows a new one. That's not the case in the manga. Whenever Ken rips his shirt, he tends to get a new outfit. When Ken is hit by the Heaven's Command Charge or Tensho Honretsu, Ken loses his jacket, and the fight is interrupted by Rihaku's trap. But when Ken is searching for Raoul's whereabouts, he is now wearing this new gear in Chapter 128. Kenshiro continues to wear this side arm armor till Chapter 133, where once again his top gets torn by Raoul. In the case of anime adaptations, Kenshiro can be seen wearing the bicep pad in the 2007 movie Raoul Gaiden Kikito no Sho. What's interesting is this look has also been used in recent gaming such as Ken's motto in J-Star's Victory Versus and Jump Force. I don't know why this particular design is used over the iconic look, but whatever. At least in toy form it makes sense because Raoul is wearing this armor and bead neck piece during this fight and doesn't use it anywhere else. I would have preferred Kenshiro's default look over this, but I'll take what I can get. I'm assuming there will be variants in this line since Ken has a few interesting looks, such as his Land of Ashura costume, which seems to be based on Sylvester Stallone's Cobra. Your disease, and I'm the cure. The toy efficiently sculpted Kenshiro into 3D, with the usage of metallic paint on his boots, zipper, belt, and the arm pads. The paint on the pants and jacket is a nice blue, which looks a little leatherish, but it kind of leans more metallic than leather, but it doesn't bother me. The clothes have nice shaded folds and wrinkles, which hinders the articulation a bit, more on that later. The skin tone is fine, as Kenshiro's skin color changes per adaptation. Sometimes he's tan, sometimes he's not. But what about the face sculpt? Well, I'm not sure if I'm getting manly out of him. I see this passive and somewhat tranquil expression on his face, at least when compared to the 1-6 scale Kenshiro prototype from Storm Collectibles, which has a ferocious glare. What comes to mind is... handsome? What? You think I'm handsome? Yeah, for some reason my head is thinking handsome and not so much manly anime hero. You see what I did there? I can't put my finger what is different in this scope from the promotional images. Usually I can spot the difference, but not in this case. It could be the pink lips, the eyelashes, or something else. On the other hand, the figure does look like Kenshiro. He's got the slanted chin, the pronounced jawline, the realistic nose, the narrow eyes, and the thick eyebrows which for some reason caught off in the sides. Then there's the hair that's modernized. For some unknown reason, many materials don't replicate Kenshiro's manga hairstyle and instead go for the spiky anime hair. It's way more noticeable in games such as Ken's Rage, J-Stars, Jump Force, Lost Paradise, Legends Revive, etc. Or just about every game actually. <laughs> it doesn't bother me but I'm just paying attention to detail. I just spent minutes talking about Kenshiro's clothes and face. Was it interesting? Tell me in the comments because I have no idea. Here it is, articulation. Possibly the most important part of reviewing an action figure. I'll make this quick. Kenshiro's head can turn left and right, but like many action figures, he can't look up! Looking down is no problem, but when it comes to seeing upward, there's not much he can do. Ken's head can slightly tilt, the upper torso can rotate, while the lower abs can bend. Tilt and lean back. Lean back. Lean back. I haven't heard this song since middle school. I'm 30 years old. Can I say back in my day now? Since Ken's back can lean backwards, you can kinda use this as a substitute for Ken's looking up deficiency.
The left shoulder pad is on a ball joint so it can move around to avoid any hindrances. The shoulders are double jointed? I think these are called universal ball joints? I don't know, but it has the same reach as a butterfly joint. The shoulders can be moved in a circular motion but are a bit obstructed by the jacket's collar. But you can still get Ken to cross his arms and do other stances. Speaking of which, elbows are double jointed and can spin around. Hands are on ball joints which can move vertically and horizontally and rotate so you can adjust it to your preferred posture. The pelvis is a floating piece. Ken has no thigh cut so it can only move slightly to the side. The pen wrinkles are positioned around his butt cheeks so his legs can stand still and twist. I never thought I'd be talking about Kenjiro's ass. What a video this turned out to be. His knees are double jointed but to Robo's misfortune he cannot kick his own butt. Yet his knees can slightly move side to side. Kenjiro can do a split. His legs can only kick up this high. Ken is lacking that SH figure arts drop down leg hinges or whatever that joint is called. Hasbro has been doing them too in their recent figures so Kenshiro could have used something like this which would have helped them in some aerial poses because this guy can jump good. Absolutely zero boot cuts, ankles could be better, the feet can move up and down and rotate but the actual rocker is blocked by the boot sculpt. There's many other toys that can do this better. Oh, and he's also toe articulated, but I never use it. And he lacks peg holes at the bottom of his feet, but he does have one hole at his back. You can easily use the stand he can- oh, I already said that. Final thoughts? I like him, but I want improvements. What's really bothering me is the overall size of this guy. And knowing there's another brand that can potentially do more with the figure, given the price. I bought this straight from Japan and despite the heavy price tag, it was actually cheaper than buying it from Big Bad Toy Store. Also, I got it in 4 days back in uh, February, which is really good record considering where I live. Sorry for the delays, but <laughs> there's a reason for that. Getting back to Storm Collectibles, if they can make a 112 scale Kenshiro, I know he'll be so freaking impressive and I can only imagine what kind of Mortal Kombat accessories he could have. An easy thing he can do is a removal jacket, that way you can have a shirtless Kenshiro and easily see his 7 scars. Storm Collectibles has already done this with Ryu and Akuma. Plus that would mean you wouldn't have to buy a second Kenshiro figure just to have him shirtless. Oh I can dream. And I know I would get more bang for my buck. Alas, this is currently the only modern alternative and more is coming. Rao is practically here. Jaggy has already been painted. Rei and Souther are not too far behind. So I'll very likely continue collecting this line. I guess the determining factor will be Rao. It'd be a miracle if Medicals Entertainment could give me review samples. If you can chip in a little bit, there's my Kofi page and Patreon. Help me help you so I can make toy videos. I like what I have, but Kenshiro being my favorite anime character has led me to have very high expectations and they're not completely met. I don't mean to be a downer on this video, but I'm just being honest. He's good to own, but I'm also anticipating what Storm has to offer, assuming they don't lose the license before anything comes out. And also assuming that it'll be in 112 scale, not the 16 scale they showed. I don't know, I, I feel bittersweet because my admiration of the character and I don't think this is the definitive Kenshiro figure. Not yet. But it's also the only alternative and it's not bad by any means. Maybe this is enough for some people, but not quite for me. For now, Kenshiro will remain in my collection and will make it in my top 10 of 2021. But I will keep my eyes open for what else the year has to offer. I'm the anime hero and sometimes I talk about action figures.